Uh, morning guys, it's James. So we've yesterday worked on this motorhome and luckily we kept it overnight because the uh, light had faded so much we couldn't do the video. So this vehicle turned up to us, it's uh, an auto trail motorhome coach built. It had a factory head unit in double din that didn't have any of the mod cons but it did have a built in TV tuner. And the TV tuner along with the CD DVD player was then linked to this up here which is a, an old fashioned drop down DVD player. Um, and so that the video out from the head unit was then linked to the DVD player and um, connected to a sort of a TV antenna on top of the roof. So what we've done is we've had to think outside the box for the customer. He didn't want to spend loads and loads of money for a double din navigation unit. So what we've given him is the Pioneer double din AVH A240 DAB. Now, actually what happens, he doesn't care about the Bluetooth built in or the DAB that's built in and other bits and pieces like that. All he wanted really was the CD and DVD player and the video in and the video out. Now in the glove box on the left hand side is the USB so that he can plug in a phone um, and do music playback as well. Um, it's not connected to the ignition so we just press the on off button like so and then it'll boot up and that's all off the leisure battery so he can utilize it exactly how he wants to. Let's just turn that down like so. So we've tuned it into FM radio and um, probably a bit of a, a screen glare just because of the touch screen but that's just the way it is. Now what we can do is I think the um, set the free view set top box that we hardwired in and we're going to do too much on that because we didn't supply it we just installed it for him and we will show you that anyway. So the set top box you can go in like so and you can scroll along uh, my fingers don't work very well with touch screens. Uh, no. There we go. Um, and then we go into AUX. So we hit AUX like so. And the free view set top box is already set up because I've set it up to the leisure battery. So as soon as I turn on the supply for the free view box and for the... Um, uh, the antenna, it's already on. Now what we can do is Tim can slowly and get back into the back of the vehicle here. Now, don't judge the picture quality purely because of the fact that this has been in situ for 10 years um, and the latch is broken, but we've just been asked to utilise it via the customer. Um, so I'm just going to go into this box here and turn on the power supply for the drop down monitor. So what you're seeing on the drop down monitor is again the source from the set top box and also linked in via the Pioneer. So he can turn the Pioneer screen off and just watch TV on the front here like so. And then up in the cupboard here is your uh, set-top box, just a cheap one off the internet. It's got HDMI out and you've also got then red, yellow, white phono in. So it allows us to go in and the USB on the front. And then up in the top corner here, we've got the existing Vision Plus antenna. All we've done is we've added an extra cable in uh, that is nice and neatly installed and connected to your set-top box. We've done a scan and that then allows us to have the free view um, system on here. Let me just see where I've put the remote. I've probably already put it away nice and neat. So if Tim now goes back to the TV screens... What we can do is we can go into the electronic program guide and it's a bit, it's not amazing on here. And to be honest, this was only a cheap set top box, but it's supplied by the customer. We've just fitted it. So let's go to um, ITV and press OK. Let's go out there and exit. And we've got uh, ITV HD. Now, again, I must reiterate that this is a 10 year old um, monitor it's probably not great resolution but it's perfect for what the customer needed and it's been in situ for a while let's just go back into the electronic program guide let's find something else BBC one let's just go channel 5 let's see if we got we've got Peppa Pig on here uh, BBC 2 HD right okay so press OK and then exit 
Okay, so we've got BBC News. Now, again, um, because we've got quite a bright day today, if Tim then zooms in onto the Pioneer, which is the part that we've supplied and fitted, we're just using this Pioneer double din unit, as I said before, as the CD and DVD player. But we've got then a video in and a video out. The video out is connected to the drop down DVD, and the video in is coming from this HD uh, free view box, which is one of the reasons why he's now getting high definition free view channels. Obviously, you're not making the most of high definition on here, but you will do on the um, Pioneer unit. Um, but again, linked to what the customer wanted we've just removed an old unit that had a built-in tv tuner to now utilize the tv aerial on the roof with a new hd free view free view um set top box and most importantly connected up to the um large 12 inch screen here for when they want to park up and watch tv um and that's free to air tv channels connected to the tv okay so you've been watching motorhome retrofits um, this is what we do. We like doing bespoke work. We've had to work with components already set into the, and fitted into this vehicle. Um, but we've done a really nice, neat, tidy job. That's all fitted in. It's all done on the back 12 volts, so it's isolated when it's switched off. There's your DVD drop down again that was in situ. And we have fitted the Pioneer AVH A240 DAB unit. Um, it does a whole lot more than what they need, but it is absolutely perfect at the price point. So don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in what we do, we love being techie, we love gadgets, uh, and we're going to be doing a lot more motorhomes and work this year. So stay tuned, and don't forget to tell your friends and family. Thanks very much.